Hey guys, this is Pro Smart, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the new Samsung Galaxy J7 Next Audio update. So, with that being said, let's get into the video. I will cover some interesting points and new features added to this device after this amazing update. So, let's begin. Okay, so first make sure that you have installed the software update. To do this, go to your settings and you will find the software update option below. Download the update manually and make sure that your phone's charge is above 20%. So once it's done, I will go to about phone and show you the security patch. So as you can see, the security patch is of September 2018, which is impressive, latest one and didn't expect this. Anyways, tapping on the Android version few times and here is this delicious audio. Okay, is this a game or an audio flavored bubblegum? Seriously, I don't know. Comment below if you know how to play this game like a pro. It's my first time using a phone with Android audio. I was in the old era of Marshmallow until this audio update finally arrived. If I compare the design, the app icons and the interface, nothing has changed. Coming to the notification panel, here we have the sort feature. From now you can arrange icons or notifications in a certain order and I do like this feature. On the top right of the settings, there is a small profile icon. You can log into your Samsung account from here. I don't have one right now so I will just move on to the next feature. They also updated the keyboard with a new emoji option on the top of the keyboard. It's a good design but I'm comfortable with an emoji icon on the bottom left like the old one. Maybe it's me because I'm using the J7 for a long time and it has the emoji icon on the bottom left. It depends on person to person, I like the emoji icon on the bottom left. There are also other improvements and updates, I will just read out few of them. In the quick panel you can manage the notifications for each app. The icons will be shown at the bottom of the notification panel that aren't currently visible. Now for the home screen you can touch and hold an app to display the shortcuts to common or recommend task within the app. You will also get this new notification badges on app icons that are linked with the notification panel. So you can clear the notification in one location and it will also be cleared in other locations. After that we have the Samsung keyboard. There is the toolbar which gives quick access to useful functions. The GIF keyboard can send GIFs or GIFs. A more high contrast keyboards are also available. After that in the system performance, the background services are limited to improve performance and battery life. Then you will get the currently running apps will always be shown in the notification panel. After that in the lock screen you will get new clock styles for the lock screen also you will get this samsung dual messenger which i will install and test out in the next video so let me know in the comment section what phone do you use and did you receive the audio update so if you are a j7 next user then comment below which feature is really interesting and which feature did you like the most anyways i still use my j7 2015 version and it is still running on android marshmallow which is really sad so these were the latest features added to the samsung galaxy j7 next phone and few things that are improved via the new audio update so that was my video guys if you enjoyed watching this video smash the like button and also again subscribe to the channel if you haven't so with that being said thanks for watching this is bro smart and i hope to see you in my next video